Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where we try to solve the mysteries of space engineers. Today we're going to start with a very unique mystery. How do we get off the planet Triton? This planet is very unique compared to a lot of them because it has the gravity of Earth, or the Earth-like planet, but its atmosphere is a lot lower. I mean, on Earth, the Earth-like planet, you could actually run your atmospheric thrusters and get halfway up through the atmosphere or pretty close to actually losing the grip from gravity caused by the planet. But on Triton, it's a totally different story. Both ceilings are about 40,000 meters in order to escape the gravitational field. But on Triton, the atmosphere only actually goes up to about 4,500 meters, which drastically lowers the amount we can use the atmospheric thrusters for and causes us to have to use hydrogen power for the rest of it. I mean, that's, that's almost three times the amount it takes on the Earth-like planet just to escape the gravitational field. So at first, while we're flying around, around 700, 800 meters, it's actually not too bad. You know, we have the forward thrusters and the vertical thrust, or VTOLs as most people like to call it. And we seem to be just cruising along perfectly fine. Well, as we gain altitude, our thrust, you can actually see, is varying some out of the thrusters. And it's just not pushing as hard. Overall, the atmosphere thins out very quickly. And I've already had to turn on the hydrogen thrusters just so we can continue to gain altitude. It's kind of crazy how fast it runs out. We're not even close to 4,000 meters, but we're already having a problem. I don't even see the atmospheric thrusters at this point. At this rate, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough hydrogen to actually get off this planet. I mean, we seem to be burning at a fairly quick pace. I might have to actually land again and install more hydrogen tanks. Hmm. Seems to be something wonky going on with my controls. Earlier, I actually installed a large gyro and I connected it directly to the jump drive, hoping that maybe it would stabilize it more, but I think it's having the opposite effect because I'm having to hold the key down in order to prevent, you know, tilting completely to one side or the other. As you can see, it's, it's even with holding the key down, I'm having a struggle keeping this thing straight. Oh man, I'm going to be losing thrust at this rate. There's no way my side thrust is going to keep us up. I better flip this thing around. Okay, this, this is just getting kind of weird. Oh man. Every time this happens, I seem to be close to a mountain for some reason. I think I've lost about four ships now just from smashing into the mountains. But if we lose this one, I'm going to have to build a whole new ship, and it's going to take forever to get to Perthium. This stop on Triton was actually just supposed to be a very short stop, and then continue on to our last planet to explore. But at this rate, man, I don't know, I don't know if we're going to make it out of this. Oh, uh, it's going to be close. Oh, man. Oh. All right, all right, nice and easy. Nice, I better turn off this gyroscope. Maybe that'll help. Oh, now that was close. We can just kind of straighten this out. I noticed that it did actually stop pulling to one side once I turned it off. 
Man, that was that was really close. I mean, we would have had to basically start all over again. We would have been totally stranded on Triton. This planet is not that forgiving. I mean, it is a big ice ball or just a big frozen tundra. I guess it'd be kind of equivalent to going to the Arctic or Antarctic for conditions. Right now I'm just trying to gain enough altitude back to see if we can actually make it out, but it, like I said, it might be pushing the limits trying to escape at this point just because the hydrogen is so low. I can't believe we lost almost half of our capacity just trying to control this thing for smashing into a mountain. Yeah, probably not going to make it. We're already at 36% left. That's definitely not going to be enough. Maybe I should just try to maneuver over to that flat ice over there so I can land and then try to refill for a while. Unfortunately, since I only have three O2 generators on this craft, it is going to take probably about 20 or 30 minutes to reload, but I'm going to cut out that time just so you don't get bored. Yeah, at 6,000 meters, there's no way my atmospheric thrusters are going to even move us. I'm going to have to burn up the last that I got and then try to float back down to the surface, I guess. As long as the atmospheric thrusters catch us, once we're around 2,000 meters, though, we should be fine. As long as they catch us. You never know with this planet because the air is pretty thin until you get about 2,000 meters. Yeah, we're still cruising at 104 ms. Ooh, it's going to be close. Our tanks are almost empty of hydrogen. I'm burning the last of it. Oh, and there it is. Well, boys, it's just coasting from here on out. Man, I should have installed a couple of parachutes or something. Jeez, I, I'd hate to lose this rover. The crawler's been so good. We've visited almost every planet and moon except for Pertim. Three thousand meters. Come on. It looks like the atmospheric thrusters kicked in. We are kind of slowing down now. We got this nice and smooth now. Nice and smooth. Seventy ms. Sixty ms. Come on. I think we're clear of the mountain now. I should be able to. Continue to work it down to the ice. The MS actually stands for meters per second. So if you imagine that's your acceleration rate either towards or away from an object. This reference is actually used by today's spacecraft in order to determine how fast away from the Earth we're moving or in relation to the Earth. When you're moving away from uh, an object, you're following the AOAPS. Basically, the AOAPS, or in the lower right corner, it says A gravity is your AOAPS gravity, which means you're going away from the gravity field of that planet. The other one is P for parallapse, which is basically your negative, so you're going towards the gravity. And as you can see, our parallapse is exactly 1G, or one gravitational unit. So you'll see it change when we start actually leaving the planet or getting far enough away it'll start going down and the more we get to 40,000 meters the faster it'll actually go down or decrease and then in turn your thrust will have more effect because it won't be fighting the gravity as much all right now that we're back on the ground i'm just going to grab some ice throw it in the back we should be good to go to try it again. Uh, maybe I should remove this thing first. This gyroscope has just been throwing me off this whole time. 
I don't know if it's because I didn't put it in the center or because it's torque is so much higher than the small gyroscopes, but something definitely caused it to throw it off. Plus, it does consume a lot of power, and I think maybe it robbed it from the atmospheric thrusters when we were taking off, so we didn't get as much lift as we needed. Let me just rebuild this wall real quick so it's not ugly. Nothing worse than an ugly ship, I tell you what. All right, now that's done. Let's just tidy up this corner. I, I remember I put blocks here originally, kind of made it cut in. It's kind of cool that way, you know, the lights are more defined. I think maybe I should add some hydrogen containers also. I'm just putting some small hydrogen containers, and when you put these on, make sure that you're actually pointing the connector to your conveyor belt. If you don't, it won't actually fill with hydrogen. And I've made that mistake before, and it might sound dumb, but when you're in a hurry and you're just trying to build stuff to get off the ground, sometimes you do forget. With these, though, you'll have to have large tubes, which requires at least a basic assembler. That was our first attempt. I think after I let this charge in the next video, we're going to try it again. Thanks for watching, and I hope you feel encouraged to actually leave your comments in the comments section to share with everyone else on what you may or may not have experienced in this game. I appreciate it.